I'm Abby Kitchens, the staff veterinarian here at High Roller Whitetails. One very common question I get this time of year especially is, should I pull my fawns? Well, we here at High Roller use several different tools in our toolbox to help us identify fawns that could be struggling. Currently one tool that we are in love with and are learning more about is pulling blood on our fawns to assess the quality of their blood and especially their proteins, their glucose levels, to help us determine if that animal has actually eaten or not. Secondly, we're using it to determine the quality of that colostrum that that animal has potentially ingested. We draw blood from the animal in question and are able to immediately bring it straight into the lab and run it and have results within 15 minutes. So how can this help you at home? Well, you can get your veterinarian to help you learn how to draw blood from your animals. Number one, having a centrifuge on hand to spin down the blood, get you a serum or plasma sample from that blood, and be able to use a clinical refractometer to see immediately, shoot side or animal side, what their serum protein levels are. This value is helping us determine if that animal is safe to pull or safe to leave with the mom. It's just another tool in our toolbox, however, so it's not the end all be all. More research is needed to help us determine at what level is safe or healthy for that animal to stay in the pens with its mom. As you know, colostrum is incredibly important and knowing if that animal ingested colostrum is super beneficial, especially if deciding to pull that animal if it's being taken care of. One value that we're using is blood work. Specifically, I've been looking at the total protein value. Research has shown that this is potentially a number that we can use animal side very quickly and very easily to determine if that animal has ingested colostrum or not. We use this in cattle very often and we've been doing research in deer to encourage us and improve these values and our reliability of this number. Here at High Roller, we have the ability to run a full chemistry panel and CBC on our fawns. Within 20 minutes, I can get results for glucose, total protein, albumin, globulin, GGT, and all these values help me in making determinations whether this animal has eaten and gotten adequate colostrum. This helps us make pulling decisions when deciding whether to bottle raise or not. Your veterinarian can run these exact same tests. So you can draw blood from your fawns and take it to your veterinarian and be able to run those tests. What can you do if you don't have ready access to a veterinarian the same day? Well, you just need a couple of things of equipment at home. Have your veterinarian help you in learning how to draw blood from your animals and having the correct blood tubes on hand to get the right samples. From there, you can spin those samples so that you can obtain serum or plasma from your animals. Then you need a clinical refractometer on hand. You put your serum or plasma in the clinical refractometer and you're able to get a total protein number off of your animals. This total protein number will help you in making decisions whether that animal has had adequate colostrum and needs to be pulled or not. Again, this is just a tool in the toolbox that we've been using. Research has not proven exactly what that number is that we need to pull or not pull. More research needs to be done and we're continuing to do that research. But in the meantime, you can use your veterinarian to help you make these decisions based on these numbers and values. And also, don't forget, look in that, at that fawn. Is that fawn dehydrated? Has it eaten? Those are already indicators that it may or may not need to be bottle fed.